There was a time when people didn't know about CPR. Now we do, and we know the quality of CPR matters. There is now a large body of research that proves quality counts. However, from beginners to experts, research also shows that even highly trained professionals often miss the mark. So how do you know if you're doing it right? It's simple. You measure. If you don't see how you're doing, it's easy to miss out on some essential steps of quality CPR. These are the six steps for quality CPR. Never stop compressions for longer than 10 seconds. Every time you stop chest compressions, there's no blood flowing to the heart and brain. Compressions keep blood flow constant. The ideal compression rate is 100 to 120 compressions per minute. The correct compression depth is at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Less than that and you may not be generating enough blood. On the way down, compressions force blood from the heart into circulation and most importantly, to the brain. On the way up, full release allows the heart to refill before the next compression. Give 30 compressions and then two breaths. Avoid excessive ventilations. Each breath should last only until the chest rises. Breaths should be given gently, six to eight breaths per minute. It's often said practice makes perfect, but we believe perfect practice makes perfect. That's where measurement comes in. You learn most by using CPR feedback devices to measure performance, assess the data, and provide feedback. CPR feedback, used in training and therapy, enables you to deliver quality CPR every time. The evidence is clear. When it comes to CPR, quality counts. <laughs>